Assalamu alaikum, here's Ahmed Nasser uh, with continuation of our previous tutorial. In this tutorial, we just want to build a basic transaction. Uh, transaction in C sharp is very easy and it's implemented in the, the class libraries. So, here you want to start a transaction. All you need to do is just create a uh, SQL here and SQL transaction. And let me just say TR okay and here we just started the transaction and you started the transaction from the connection so first thing you should have a connection and you started the transaction from the connection so um, so let's begin the transaction so let's say I want to begin the transaction from here um, say um, TR equal connection the start or begin transaction okay we started the transaction here uh, after that we have a command so let me just start this before the command and we have a SQL command and inside the command we create a connection uh, create a command and so uh, I think the best way is to do this is just instead of doing this uh, is assigning the command and the connection at the same time to uh, the query to the to the command so here instead of putting all the stuff like that we say uh, can, um, new SQL command and inside the command we give it the the query that we have so we have the query SQL so SQL and we have uh, the connection and we have the transaction so we give it the connection and we give it the transaction at the same time so but we should here we should start the begin the transaction and the command we could just give it the transaction and here in the try catch statement uh, we just add after doing all the stuff here we just put uh, tr dot commit okay so we just want to commit if everything is okay and if we got an error here we just want to delete the exception because when we we want to do something called rollback so we want to undo all the process if if we have error or something so here we just put tr dot rollback okay so we just roll back if we got an error, uh, an error here so if you if you if you want to throw as an exception you got some, uh, you know, got, um, it says here, unreachable code detected. So, you know, just remove the throw exception because we're going to roll back. Okay. And you can sometimes, you can add something here like connection, the dispose. And, and also you can do this like um, for the transaction, the dispose. And the same process and uh, dispose and and also for the we have connection we have command so also for the command cmd dot dispose okay so after doing all the stuff uh, let me just try and run this okay let me add new okay uh, number let me say 55 say business okay add uh, we got a problem here uh, begin transaction because we didn't open the connection okay so we need to open the connection first and after that we can do this so here just put this um, here just open the connection and try to save this see what you got oh man I don't know sometimes we got uh, fatal errors uh, anyway just run this okay just in debugging mode and try run this again okay let me just add number like 55 uh, one and 
say Pusa. Add. Everything is fine. So if we go here and try run the program again, uh, we got Pusa Business Administration here. So uh, basically, this is uh, for this tutorial. But I think that I can teach you something more here uh, about when we go new and we move back, we want to refresh the data set. So how we can do that, basically, I think it's an easy process. Uh, we, we can go here, add, okay, and you can put this in dispose when you just click out the form, you just update the other form. Okay, so you need to have a reference to the other form. So uh, since we are in the first form, we, we, we are here, uh, let me just back on the track here, since we have in, the, in this form, okay, we are in this form, and we want to run some data on the previous form, so we need, a, uh, we need a reference from this form to the other form, and from the other form to this form, so let's do that, uh, go to this uh, form new department, and just make a you know a reference to the other form uh, let me go here and define a reference so say form 1 uh, f1 equal to okay equal nothing okay and I just want to make this make this public so here just say public refresh this and from public we just back to the form number one go view code and here we just say fr uh, the form number one equal this so what this mean is just wanna man I just I'm sorry about that uh, we just say fr do f1 equal this and what this mean is just we want to assign you know the same reference to this form okay um so because that because of that when you w when we go here to the other form okay and after finishing all the data all the stuff from here okay we just want to refresh the other form and after this let me see here we just want to say we got an f1 here so say f1 the uh, grid view data grid view so it's not public so we need to go to the class and make it public so just go form one and go to uh, this one here and try to find we got a, a data grid view one here just make it public okay because we want to access, access this from uh, the other class so we just come here to uh, form new department and say F1 the data grid view one, okay, and say data source, and you want to assign this data source to be a new data source, and this data source just want to be DAO the, uh, you know, we just want to say get all department. The all departments okay I hope this is gonna work so let me just try uh, sometime you need to make this to null before you update you need to make to make it null and after that you can refresh it other time you need to make something like that um, that that I could view the clear uh, let me there's a method let me just find it clear thing clear there's other method let me just check if this works uh, try refresh this uh, okay run this okay and just this to be data set of zero as you remember this this will return a data set and uh, you know uh, I think the best way is just say table if we have table if we don't have table here this is department 2 the table of 0 
we just return table of zero and try to refresh it uh, okay we build the solution okay everything is fine try run this we got this now let me try add a new uh, department let me see 998 okay let me say ADU and here add okay we just exit this as you can see here we got ADU directly so this is a great way in, to uh, do all that stuff and I think it's the best way notice that if you click on any row of this value just get this uh, number get 32 we got you know 998 and the way that we get this is just basically from the form so if you go to the form number one uh, make sure that uh, you have uh, go to the grid view and you just selected an option here called uh, false selected row okay and after that go to the events and there's a cell double click make sure that you selected that and go to uh, cell double click method in the inside your code we got a data set and this data set called new data set but I think that we didn't use this so let me remove this okay we have an index here we got the index of the row and the way that we got that just we say grid view one the selected cells uh, zero the row index so from the selected cells we just get the row index and uh, here we got the message box uh, uh, the show and we just show the, 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 the value that we obtained it from here uh, because just we got the row and when we got the row we can get added value from in, inside the cells of the rows uh, here we got data grid view the rows of i from this index and we just display a cell of zero okay which is the uh, you know the, the id if we put the cell of one we will get the name the value that to string and just display in the screen okay and this is what we have exactly done here so that's why you, when you click on each row in each cell in the row we just selected full selected row uh, you know selection mode and when you click any value you just uh, go to you know other form this is very important when you want to update the value so suppose that we want to update a value you just want to select this row and go to a new form you got this ID and you got all the information related to uh, the specified um, you know member here okay so uh, this is pretty much for today uh, uh, see you later guys don't forget to subscribe the channel Ahmed Nasser here from, from Stereo 07 on YouTube uh, I promise in the next few days uh, I'll try to give you more tutorials in C Sharp because this is just the beginning uh, thank you for watching I appreciate you watching and see you later